it is your bald handyman coming at you again and I want to talk about um, doing mudding mudding on sheetrock and corners specifically I already have a couple videos on doing sheetrock repair one of them is on a ceiling I want to do one on a wall because walls are so much easier um, but the one on the ceiling pretty much will tell you everything you need to know about a sheetrock repair but some people are kind of sketchy about doing um, the corner taping, the taping and the mudding. And so what you're going to need basically, or all you're going to need basically to do that is sheetrock mud, but then of course you're going to need tape. Um, I use paper tape as I show in my other video. Um, and you need these blades. Any one or, well, any two of them will work. A three or four inch blade like this is very necessary because that is just over the size of your tape you're going to be using. Then, you could choose to use one of these. This is a 6 inch blade. This is a 12 inch blade. And the one in the back here is my favorite, which is a 16 inch blade. So, for the purposes that I'm using um, these two, for the purposes of doing the sheetrock um, taping and mudding process, these are the only two that I use. Some prefer the 6 inch and some prefer the 12 inch so even if you did a 12 and a 3 that would be cool too this is a corner blade and the corner blade is self-explanatory when you're doing corner taping and mudding this makes life a little easier um, I've used this before I don't particularly care for it um, I still would rather use my 3 inch blade to do the corners and I'd rather do one side at a time rather than trying to do two sides simultaneously which is what this will do anyway that's all you need other than the mud and the tape and there's not a lot of explanation that I can give I I, I tend to talk too much in my other videos um, that I have on my other channel so I'm not trying to do a lot of talking um, a lot of the videos that I'm doing they're they're kind of simple repairs well they're simple for me anyway and so I show the process more than I do the talking um, and but I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it real quick I mean it's very easy all you do is put some mud on the corner on both sides on the corner a light coating of mud then you take your three inch blade and you hold the tape either from the bottom or the top I prefer the top and when you're holding the tape then you bring and you push down you bring this blade all the way down onto the tape and that takes out the excess mud once you've taken out the excess mud as much as you can on both sides, you let that dry. That is usually the place where people mess up because they don't let the tape dry. And they try and add more mud than they need to and then they're sanding off more than they have to. So let the tape dry overnight, then come back to it and then apply your second coat of mud. So what you're going to see is you're going to see me do the corner taping and then I'm taking off all the excess mud just like I explained. But then the other side, the straight line that you see next, is already tape that has been set for probably two or three days. It's already dry. And so then I just pack on the mud there and I take my 16 inch blade and I just taper everything off. And that's it. If you do it right, you're only sanding one time. On that second coat, you're doing a very light sanding and you're done. If you put a third coat on, when I say third coat, the tape would be the first coat, right? Second coat is where you should really have to stop and just do a light stand, sanding and be done with it. But if you have to put a third coat on, that's okay to feather out all the excess mud that you need. But um, when you get it down really, really good, you don't have to do a third coat. Second coat is fine. And then you just sand it down. It's that easy. But make sure your tape is done right to begin with. That, that is the hardest thing I think people deal with. Again, I prefer tape, paper tape. There's other types out there. There's um, fiberglass tape that a lot of people like. Anyway, on to the video part. And subscribe. Subscribe somewhere down here below. But subscribe. And watch my other videos because I do a lot of them. Or I will be anyway.
I'll love 